Yeah, this, this area was uh, uh, pretty well farmed uh, and everything was cut out uh, probably, probably by the 40s, I would imagine. And, um, and there's stumps all over the place, but uh, left over. But, but certain areas like this was, uh, this area right around here was, was uh, open field uh, 30 years ago. And, uh, and the uh, longleaf was so, was so completely cut out that it didn't have any, there were no other, no trees left to seed in. So I'm trying to uh, reestablish as much as I can some of these trees in this area. And it's not very easy because I'm loaded up with loblolly pine and a lot of oak trees and cherry trees and sweet gums and, and um, different things like that. So it's a matter of just kind of uh, getting, them, getting them established wherever I can. And I've, I, on this entire 80-acre piece of property that I have here, uh, there were only 12 longleafs left uh, on on our actual 80 acre piece of property. So uh, we're just trying to get some more of them in as much as possible. These uh, silver buds are are the tree trying to shoot out uh, a, some vertical growth there, and uh, and uh, because we've had all this rain this uh, fall and, and winter. We've got a nice bunch of uh, stuff trying to come out there, and it looks like one of them's overtaking the other ones, and uh, and the rest of them will become limbs. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a real nice, healthy uh, bunch of growth this year coming out. And I, I've noticed some of them are probably 20 inches now. Well, uh, it, if uh, if the uh, if the tree is too small, you can actually uh, burn the burn the uh, tip and uh, damage or kill the tree. So uh, on a tree like this, I'd kind of wait until it's uh, a little larger, a little taller to, before it gets burned. It's just a, a safer thing to do with it. But uh, most of these will make it through, uh, you know, real light grass farm.